My name is Iris Nastasi and I'm the principal of Clancy Catholic College. When I start to talk about my students, I can't help but light up. If you genuinely like being around young people and forming their minds or helping them out in terms of being the best people that they can be, what an honour it is to be here. I recruited 24 teachers in my first term and the following year I recruited another 24. And for experienced principals out there that would make your hair go grey, you can worry about being a little unsteady. You can worry about people not really having a shared understanding of the vision of the school, principles of teaching and learning, how we do things, and with 48 new people over two years, your concern would be even greater. Plus, I was a new principal myself. But then, what a great opportunity to use that as a mandate to say, why don't we all decide what it is we're doing here? I'm very impressed with other leaders around me, and I'm very impressed with colleague principals. And I've often sat beside them and gone, God, I wish I had what he has, uh, but I will never be him or her. Uh, at the end of the day, I have to come back to who I am myself. My energy goes into the rapport, taking people with me, making sure they're with me, going back to see is everyone with me. And I've reached a point too now where I've really settled into it. And I'm happy with what I'm doing and doing it my own way. But nobody else here has to be thinking the big picture as much as I do and developing strong links with the people who represent me then in places that I can't be because I can't be everywhere. I have a very strong leadership team and they are all experts in their particular area. It's very important that I don't give the impression that I know everything because what you do then is you disempower that great capacity of the person in front of you. You look like a confident person, everybody assumes you're a confident person, you are confident when you speak and uh, convey what it is that you see but nobody sees the doubt that can occur, particularly before you do something that hasn't been done before. I never had a light bulb moment where I decided I was ready. And I think the message must be for future leaders that if you're waiting for that light bulb moment, it might never come. I have grown a huge amount through the opportunities I've had, and I've had really bad days. And I've had to be a big enough person to go home and say that wasn't the best day you've ever had, you could have done that a little bit better and I'm certainly a lot wiser. If you're a very reflective person, you will learn um, because you will constantly be thinking, I can do this better, this would have been better had I done this, etc. So put your hand up, know your school's annual improvement plan, put your hand up and ask, can I participate in leading in some of the opportunities? Because as a principal, that supports your school community anyway. It's a great thing for me to be able to say, I've got all these people who'd like to lead here. Fantastic. There's a line from a quote that I love that says, your playing small does not serve the world. If you are this person with this great potential, and what a great world we live in because we're making a difference to the lives of young people. If you are that person and you do have that capacity, Step up, do it, because it's such a rewarding place to be.